hello guys welcome to another tutorial and today i'll be teaching you how to set up a development environment on your android device so today what we'll be discussing is how to set up a nice code editor a keyboard and a server software that uh, for both my sql and php before that i would recommend you to spread this video because it's really important for the newbies who are trying to step in the environment of web development okay so let's begin as you can see right here i have two code editors installed one of them is quick edit and second one is quota both of them offers a sleek and delicate ui and nice features like syntax highlighting select find and replace opening file and everything but I'll recommend you to use Quota over the quick edit and reasons are here first of all it has a decent UI at most and the most important thing second it has a file manager third it has its inbuilt features allowing you to preview the files directly into it without opening the browser third it offers themes you can choose from like if you're familiar with the notepad plus plus you can choose its theme or you're uh, like most of them are here but notepad plus plus that I could remember it and a lot more things like you can change the font size font color and even more thing like you can even collect it to the cloud storage for just downloading and file also offers a wide range of syntax highlighting to choose from and even more it also lets you to bookmark line it's really important yeah. and it's really nice it's really nice while talking to another code editor that is quick edit it offers a really sleek delicate and decent UI but it lacks the file, ex file explorer and that's really bad it also not allows you to choose from different themes but it offers a wide range of syntaxes to choose from meanwhile it also offers a simple file manage manage file opening and closing system it also provides a decent way to choose from open files or you can even undo and redo directly you don't need to do anything for this you don't need to wonder how to undo and redo in Android. Okay, so as you can see, both of them are free. They also support add, and to remove them, you have to buy it. Keeping all this apart, now moving to second part of the tutorial, that is how to write codes, like how to how to set up co keyboard, because with the standard Android keyboard, it's not possible to write the codes. As you can see right here, I have different keyboard installed. It's hackers keyboard and it's really awesome. It's available on the Play Store. You can download it, install it and just start writing the codes. It's really easy. It also you can even switch from any symbols with a simple just click. If you use a standard Android keyboard, it will take you years to find a single column. It's really difficult than that and dollar sign it's even more difficult that's why i don't like that and google keyboard okay so it's really awesome and this keyboard also allows you to use directly windows shortcuts like Control a to select all the files Control q to quit file Control z and all these under video all the things that you want to do okay moving to now to the third part of the tutorial that is how to run PHP and MySQL on your Android device. It's really easy because most of most um, packages, server packages are on the Google Play Store, but the problem with them is they're not good or they're paid. So here's one of the best server so package. It's pilot a web server. It's really nice. It also offers a wide range of features and MySQL server inbuilt in them. 
it also allows you to monitor connections uptime and you can it also offers a wide range of settings to choose from like you can change the bind port login password of the web admin you can even allow it to allow it to give a root access so that it would be able to bind to port 80 or below that it also helps you to configure the settings of php and ytdp because it's its default server it's really nice interesting and clean ui over here it also offers you to change my sqli configuration files directly into it without even without using any third party app and it also offers most important a web admin that will allow you to add at the side if you don't have any technical knowledge about it but and it's really important let me show you i have a site running on this server pala pala server right on my android device so let's check out okay it's running let's uh add like um, let's do um let's log in let me enter the password it's really simple it's not hard it's a s g f g h j k l go okay i forgot the password I keep it apart it's really easy and you could do anything with it because it supports php 5 one of the recent version currently supported and is one of the most stable versions out here it also offers a decent version of mysql that is mysql 5.1 and but you need to have a older version of php my admin to run uh, run with it's really nice it's really sleek ui you could even run your all the php scripts into it as i showed you in this tutorial i hope you like my tutorial and please spread it and make it go viral on the youtube I hope you liked it once again please subscribe me and links for downloading all these apps that I have listed in my tutorial are in the description below. Thanks for watching and make sure to watch my next video because it will be uh, directly related to what I taught you now. Thanks for watching once again please subscribe me once again.